Trajectory class inviting you to give the art of pottery making a spin. Alan Sanchez joins us live from the Sartreuse Muse Art Gallery in Modesto with more. You're having your ghost moment? Yeah, we're, we're, I'm, 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 I'm going to try to, but i got to figure out if I can be as good as these uh, young ladies next to me here. And this is, I mean, uh, Sandra, you're, you are putting these out like it's no one's business. And I, I'm pretty scared right now because we're going to be working with Clay here in a second. Uh, this is going to be a beginner class out here in downtown Modesto. Uh, and anyone can be a part of it, especially a beginner like myself. What should someone expect if they want to be a part of it? Uh, if they want to be a part of it, they can contract, contact the gallery and we can sign them up that way. Come on down to the gallery. Um, but a phone call or uh, getting a hold of us online is probably the best. Uh, and, and, you, and you're going to help me out here in a second. What should I know, never trying this before, what should I know trying to play with the clay? Well, the most important part on the wheel is going to be that you completely center it, which means you're making it so that it almost looks like it's not even turning or wobbling. You don't want it to wobble. That's the only way that you're going to really be able to make those walls of the pot, the sides of the pot, start to come up. And what I love about this is that it, even though it's a uh, beginner class, it's not just one, one uh, class. I mean, you're going to be going to get, get some work in. Right. So the class is six weeks long, and you end up with probably about ten pieces by the end of the class. Oh, that's cool. And then you see some of the pieces right there. Uh, you can be something like this. All right, let's make a coffee mug because I forgot to drink my coffee, so I need a mug. So what should I do? Okay. First thing you want to do is get your hands wet in the in the okay. water, yeah, up okay. above, and you'll see that there's a sponge in the okay. in there too. That's going to help you put enough moisture on the piece. Um, so squeeze some water on, and then start that gas pedal up and get it really spinning. So you can give it some good juice. Um, you can put this down for now and put your hands on it. And see, I kind of centered it for you a little bit so that you can see what it's going to feel like. So just kind of put your whole. There you go. You want to put your whole hands. On. You put your thumb into the center, okay. and that's going to start opening. Yeah, and that's okay. going to start opening it up. So you can see your thumbs are wobbling a little bit. Yes. Try to try to put the nervous, center. Okay. I know. <laughs> try to put the center of your thumb down in okay. and just one. Yeah, okay. just thumb. So if it's wiggly, you want to hold the outside of your pot with the other. Yeah, the hands. So you don't want that thumb to to move around too much. Okay. Oh, okay. I see. So yeah, there you go. Stable. Yeah. So add a little more water. It's Water is the trick here, is to keep it really slippery in your hand. Okay. Well, this is the thing. This is, um, you're going to get muddy here. And that's the fun part. Honestly, that, that's the fun part. You can check it out for yourself here in downtown Modesto. I'm hoping that I can make myself a coffee mug because I still haven't had coffee. So I'm going to get to work and we'll send it back to you. <laughs> All right. I, well, I think I'm you're doing a good job, Alan. <laughs> <I'm, that's laughs> I'll take you. They're so nice. They're Might need to grow a little.